This is Brian with Vermilion Enterprises. We are located at 5324 Spring Hill Drive in sunny Spring Hill, Florida. And today is December 7th, 2022. And uh, we're getting to the end of the year here. And so uh, I thought we would do a uh, premiums video here and get everybody updated on what's currently happening with uh, the distribution and availability of some uh, uh, generic and US uh, gold and silver and also uh, wrap it up for the year. So this is going to be our last video for 2022. And the reason for that is uh, as we get closer to the holidays, so today's the seventh, uh, we're 18 days out from Christmas, uh, shipping is just gonna become a, is, it gets to be a nightmare at this time of the year. This is the time of the year when pack, uh, packages will get lost or delayed or, or whatever due to a couple reasons. One is the weather becomes inclement up north and also um, you know the couriers just get overburdened. So uh, just to avoid any losses, we're going to uh, definitely slow her down for the rest of the year. Um, premiums will change after this video comes out. Uh, so definitely uh, down the road, uh, if you're interested in, in buying or selling, we'll definitely be happy to help, but definitely call into the shop. Uh, after today or tomorrow, these premiums in this video probably will not be uh, relevant anymore, uh, especially with like 90% silver and silver eagles, which we'll go over here momentarily, and probably fractional gold eagles too. Uh, premiums are just uh, really noticeably dropping very fast. Uh, so, uh, which is a good thing, right? We're getting back to normal pre-COVID uh, premium levels and uh, we're never gonna get back to where they originally were on new material, uh, just because the cost of operating is uh, significantly higher now. But on the older stuff, I think we will get back to uh, pre-COVID levels. So like junk 90 and silver dollars and stuff like that. Uh, so uh, without delay, let's jump in here. Let's start with one ounce gold, Tim. We got one ounce gold eagles and one ounce gold buffaloes. We're currently buying them at the spot price plus 3% and selling them at the spot price plus 7%. And so uh, gold right now, I should say, is uh, around 1,777. Is that what we sell, Tim? Yes, sir. And silver is around 2,240. So uh, right now, cost on a uh, one ounce gold eagle or buffalo is gonna be somewhere around $1,900. Now these premiums will change here as we get closer to the 2023 date release. In fact, we're already seeing noticeable drops uh, in these. Uh, we're seeing blips of where our replacement cost is now just 80 over on uh, Gold Eagle. So we're definitely gonna see noticeable drops in these premiums. Um, probably, let's see today's Wednesday. My guess is by Monday, uh, those numbers will even be uh, less. Uh, one tenth ounce gold eagles, we're still buying them at the melt price plus 7% and selling them at the melt price 17, plus 17%. So that is going to be somewhere around $208 is going to be your cost on one ounce or one tenth ounce uh, gold American eagles. And uh, definitely going to come down in price uh, once the 2023 product comes out. Uh, well, let me rephrase that the premium will definitely come down. Uh, the price will be dependent upon what the spot price of gold is at the time. I think gold and silver should be going up uh, next year or go, starting now going into next year, but it all comes down to just how manipulated the markets actually are. But given uh, the recession, given uh, the rate of inflation, uh, the war in Europe, all these things combined, I only see gold and silver going up. So, um, and I, can't imagine why they want it unless it's just the markets are just completely 100% manipulated to the point where they don't move uh, or go down, God forbid. But uh, which, who knows at this point, you know, I'm every all the time I'm being asked about, you know, the, the ratio of uh, the gold to silver ratio. When's the right time to buy? Uh, when's the right time to sell? And the reality is none of that matters anymore because of market manipulation. And also those old, uh, those gold to silver ratios, those are all based on historical markers, uh, based on uh, a time when 
China and Russia and India were not players in the gold market like they are today. So there's just new constraints. Uh, there's new uh, market influences that uh, make up the, the, the ratio, make up the, the numbers that you'll see gold and silver at that weren't true or weren't present back when that gold to uh, silver ratio actually meant something. So really that gold to silver ratio, you can just throw that away. That doesn't even matter anymore. Uh, there's too much market manipulation and there's two, the influences on the, the market today did not exist back when that gold to silver ratio actually mattered. So please just, just throw that number away. And if you see people talking about the gold to silver ratio as a means to market product, understand that that's probably not uh, really in your best interest. So just, uh, just that's just my two cents on the gold to silver ratio. Uh, but, um, you know, I can't imagine it, the gold price of gold and silver not going up, especially over uh, through 2023. But uh, time will tell, and uh, we'll all be in it together, and we'll all uh, find out together at the same time. So how's that sound, Tim? Sounds like a plan. Sounds like a plan, right? Quarter ounce gold eagles, plenty of stock. We're buying them at the melt price plus 5%, selling them at the melt price plus 15%. So this gold is at 1777 we're going to be selling these guys at $511 each. And uh, these are U.S. coins. All the Gold Eagles are U.S. coins. Um, so there is no sales tax on them at any price point. So you don't have to worry about that. State of Florida does not require us to collect sales tax on U.S. coins. Uh, so we're at $511 on the quarter ounce Gold Eagles. Again, guys, these are going to be going down in premium uh, as we get closer to the 2023 release. Uh, and then we got half ounce gold eagles, Tim. We're buying them at the mill price plus 5%, selling them at the mill price plus 8%. So that works out to be uh, somewhere around $960 is going to be your price out the door on these guys. We do ship throughout the country, and we're going to continue doing that um, through the year. Uh, we ship via USPS or postal, or yeah, USPS, which is the postal service. Um, and also uh and or uh ups we do charge for shipping so every day i'm asked uh, what you know is it free shipping or what do you charge for shipping we do charge for shipping and we try to get as close to actual shipping costs as we can but given the margins that we operate with we have to charge for shipping uh if we didn't and it was all free shipping we you'd see more prices that are relevant to like what at max and uh sd bullion and those guys charge so, uh, but uh, we try to keep our spreads low, but we do charge uh, as close to actual shipping costs as we can. Uh, we did one ounce, uh, Tim, now let's do one ounce foreign. Uh, we have a handful of Krugerrands left and some kangaroos left. We're buying foreign gold at the spot price plus $10 per ounce, and we're selling it at the spot price plus $50 per ounce. Uh, and right now we got Krugerrands and uh, kangaroos in stock. There might be a couple odd pieces here and there too. Uh, in the back, but we definitely got these two. So if so if gold's at seventeen seventy seven, we're charging eighteen twenty seven a piece for these, and it's over the five hundred dollar threshold. So no sales tax is required to be collected on one ounce foreign gold. Now, if you bought like a uh, quarter ounce um, maple leaf or something like that, that would be under the five hundred dollar threshold. So we would have to collect sales tax on that. But as long as you're over five hundred, no sales tax on foreign gold or uh, generic gold. And same with uh, foreign silver and generic silver. So uh, that's pretty clear, right, Tim? Yes, sir. All right. And uh, let's do Silver Eagles, Tim. So we got a price reduction on these guys. Uh, we are now buying solid date BU retail friendly tubes at the spot price plus $6 per ounce. And we're selling them at the spot price plus $9 per ounce. We said silver is at $22.40, Tim. So that means your cost is going to be somewhere around $31.40. Uh, per ounce on retail friendly uh, eagles and per tube that puts you at somewhere around six hundred and twenty eight dollars for a tube of 20 and uh, These will definitely be going down. I can almost guarantee by Friday. We'll be at five and eight on these I hmm. saw a dealer yesterday selling at the wholesale rate at 750 over um, I don't know. Like, I don't think he had a tremendous uh, a, a lot of them uh, a, a tremendous number of them but he did have a sizable amount, and I'm not sure he sold them at 750 over. 
So um, I think that's still a live bid that uh, if we needed them, we could buy them at that price point. So uh, I think you'll see by the end of the week, um, you'll be able to pick these, these uh, Silver Eagles up at plus eight. I'm not 100% sure, nothing's uh, in stone, but I think that's the way it's trending. And by the end of the year, it'll definitely be under plus nine. Um, you know, you're probably going to be under plus seven by the end of the year. Because uh, as we get closer to 2023 and we get closer to the release date of the uh, 2023 U.S. Mint product, prices are going to come down. Uh, or at least premiums are going to come down. Currently out of 100 ounce bricks, guys. Uh, their order, they should be here Friday. Uh, but we got bought out yesterday. And um, so they are not in the shop at the moment, but should be back in on Friday. Uh, we have the largest uh, silver we have in the shop right now are kilos, uh, which we are buying at the spot price plus a dollar and a quarter, and we're selling them at the spot price plus two dollars and ninety-five cents per ounce. So if silver's at twenty-two forty plus two ninety-five times that by thirty-two point one five. So you're going to be somewhere around eight hundred and fifteen dollars a bar on the kilos. Uh, right now we have the JBR recovery bars uh, that are pretty neat. They have a nice serial number on them. Got that nice polished uh, or brush finish look to them. So pretty snazzy. We like them, but they are in stock uh, right now. Uh, we do. Let's do 10 ounce bars here, Tim. No change here on the 10 ounce bars. Uh, right now we got uh, Pioneer bars and some other uh, other bars too. Random stuff that's come in. Uh, we're buying 10 ounce bars still at the price of uh, spot price plus two dollars per ounce and selling them at plus three and a quarter per ounce. These are uh, these are going to be mixed though. I can't guarantee design anymore on the generic silver. Uh, I know we have Pioneer bars, but it might be something else. I, all I can guarantee is that they are going to be retail friendly bars, uh, but could be a various design. So the Pioneer bar we just put out there for. Uh, this is a representation of the sampling that we have. Uh, then one ounce rounds, same thing. Uh, you know, we got two of Asahi rounds out here, but uh, you know, we got so much product going back and forth right now, we cannot guarantee design, just that they are going to be retail friendly. Uh, and so we're buying one ounce generic rounds, retail friendly ones at the spot price plus $2 per ounce. And we're selling them at the spot price plus, what does it say, Tim, $3.50 per ounce? Yes, sir. All right. so. That puts those guys currently at $25.90 per ounce right now. Now remember guys, on the 10 ounce bars and less, if you're under $500, we do have to collect 6.5% sales tax. No ifs, ands, or buts about that. That's just the way it is. And so uh, plenty of one ounce rounds in stock. They're gonna be, uh, they could be Asahi, they could be Buffalo rounds, they could be uh, Atmax, they could be Golden State Mint. It could be, uh, it's going to be a random, uh, random design. We do guarantee that there'll be uh, retail friendly rounds though, but it could really be just whatever's on top. So design wise, we just can't promise anything. Then we got five ounce bars, no change here guys. Buy them still at the spot price plus two and a half dollars per ounce. And we're selling them at the spot price plus three dollars and 95 cents per ounce. And uh, we have uh, nine fine mint bars, I know, and I know we got Pioneer bars. There might be some other stuff in there too. So again, it's nothing that we can guarantee design on. It's just gonna be literally whatever is on top. And you know, these videos, this, this video will go live here in about 30 minutes to an hour. But you know, if you call in tomorrow or the next day and be like, hey, I saw your video and I wanna get some of those nine fine, nine fine mint five ounce bars. Well, they could already be gone because uh, this stuff moves pretty fast. Um, we could be on, you know, onto a totally different box with totally something else in it. So that's why we just can't guarantee design anymore. But a five ounce bar right now at three ninety five over per ounce is going to put you at somewhere around one hundred and thirty two dollars before tax. So remember, guys, if you don't want to pay the sales tax monster, uh, just get to over five hundred dollars in value, and you can avoid that. But uh, if you're under 500, just understand we do have to collect that 6.5% sales tax. So a uh, qu question I'm asked from time to time uh, recently is, how can five ounce bars be more expensive than one ounce rounds? Well, uh, that's a great question, right? And rarely do things happen where in, in the bullion business where a larger piece of silver is more expensive than a cheaper piece of silver. Um, the reason why is that the large wholesalers, uh, the distributors, uh, had such a high demand for one ounce rounds, specifically the Buffalo rounds, that that's what they put all their resources into. 
and not all the resources, but the lion's share of the resources into production. And then literally like what a month ago, production or demand just died. And so um, they had all, all this incoming supply that they had pre-ordered uh, mostly in the way of one ounce rounds. And now they're just flush with one ounce rounds trying to find a home for them. Whereas they still only had a limited supply of five ounce bars and given the st still a weaker demand for the five ounce bars, they just don't have as many of them to satisfy that demand. So it is a little higher premium on them right now compared to the one ounce rounds because they just have so much product. Uh, I hope that what's happened in the last month with the uh, drop in the premiums it has completely squashed the uh, silver shortage uh, nonsense that was out there. Uh, hopefully that is the case. Um, who knows? Uh, there's probably still people, it's still some individuals out there trying to, you know, fear monitor there in a way to boost sales. Uh, I can tell you, uh, here, uh, in our shop, we went from averaging on a, like a Monday through Friday, uh, 80 to a hundred thousand dollars a day in sales. So now we're down to like 15 to $20,000 a day in sales. So that's just, that's how much in a month's time, um, demand has dropped for product. Um, and also, um, what happens when that happens is the premiums drop. So we, we're definitely seeing that the distributors are flush with product. Um, we are being offered large deals all the time. In fact, uh, right before this, uh, we started this video, I got a text message from uh, one of our distributors up in South Carolina. Hey, uh, we got cheap deals on one ounce gold eagles, uh, one ounce, uh, silver, uh, rounds, uh, 10 ounce bars, hundred ounce bars. What do you need? Like, I don't need anything. We're flush. We're, we're set. We're filled our positions. We're not doing anything over position right now. Uh, because I think prices are going to, or I think premiums are going to keep coming down as there's this lack of demand. So, uh, we're just, uh, you know, we're just kind of coasting here and, uh, aim small, miss small right now. Go ahead, Tim. What do you want to say? And why do you think there's that lack of demand right now? Uh, lack of demand is, uh, I think personally is, uh, two things. One over the last two or three years when demand really shut up due to the, the uh, fear of what's going on with COVID, the people that were, uh, that wanted to buy what they wanted, I got it. So, you know, they, they bought what they wanted to buy and those people are uh, satisfied as customers. And so they're just not interested in buying uh, more as much, let's put it that way. And uh, also too, uh, people are starting to hurt for money. So um, as we said that the, uh, the sales every day or the daily sales are way down, what's way up is what people are selling us. Um, and that also directly affects the premiums too. So, um, the, the, the worm has turned kind of in the sense that, um, people need money now more than they did before. So, um, and at every, um, at every, uh, class point too, it's not just the lower, uh, lower middle class. Uh, we're having, I had a, a surgeon came into my shop, uh, a week ago. Yeah. We go sold me a ton of, uh, gold to pay bills. This is a vascular surgeon. Um, <laughs> at the end of the day, there's a guy at, that's at the top level of professionalism, uh, earnings wise, and he's selling gold, uh, because of, you know, he's got bills to pay. And, um, it's, that's kind of interesting, isn't it? It is. It is. And so, um, you know, when a vascular surgeon is coming in and to pay bills, uh, to sell gold to pay bills, that, that speaks a lot about the direction that this country and this economy is going. One thing that is uh, germane mainly, mostly to like Florida, though, that I'll say that the rest of the country is not going to get hit with uh, financially is one, Florida is getting crushed right now by uh, insurance. Uh, home property insurance. Uh, this is a problem that the governor's office is going to have to address uh, or he's going to have serious backlash. Um, so and I'm not trying to get political here, but the number one financial issue in the state of Florida for the residents is property insurance right now. And um, people's property insurances have literally gone from like fifteen, eighteen hundred dollars $1,800 a year to now five, $6,000 a year in the state of Florida because of these storms that keep coming in and, and causing literally billions upon billions of dollars worth of damage. 
And so how does that affect everybody? Well, it obviously it directly affects the property owner, right? The guy that, you know, that has his house, right? Uh, but it also affects tenants because now you got landlords who have to have their properties insured, right? Um, their insurance rates have gone up significantly. So where does where does those bills get passed on to? Well, it gets passed on to the tenants. So the tenants now are going for let's say let's let's say they got a thousand dollars a month uh, rent. All right, that's actually probably on the low end here in the state of Florida. To now they're paying thirteen, fourteen, fifteen hundred dollars a month in rent because not that the landlord is trying to be greedy, but because he's getting killed by the property insurance. So uh, now you think about that. Well, now you got an extra three to five hundred dollars a month in expenses that you weren't planning on. That money's got to come from somewhere. And uh, another thing that we're seeing along with that is the mortgage companies now are not are not as apt to escrow the insurance on uh, a property because the insurance uh, has gotten so high that they're now making homeowners uh, pay for their insurance premiums up front. So now when you're budgeting to pay your premium throughout the course of the year through escrow, now all of a sudden, oh no, we're not doing that. You gotta raise $5,000 right now to pay your homeowner's insurance. That puts people in a bind at every um, income level. I don't care who you are, I don't care if you're you know, a guy at the bottom of the income pyramid or you're the vascular surgeon at the top of the period, all of a sudden you got a significant bill you gotta pay. That money's gotta come from somewhere. Typically that's coming from selling something, whether it's precious metals, maybe, you know, maybe a, you know, a toy or, or whatever. So that's why in the way of precious metals, you're also seeing an uh, effect on the premium drops because now all of a sudden guys like me, we're buying a lot more from the general public across the counter that I don't have to buy uh, to replacement from the distributors. So now the distributors have lack of demand uh, from guys like me because we're sourcing it locally, which is better for me because we, you know, we obviously can pay a little bit less for it. So, and then we can pass that savings on to you guys by charging you guys less for it. And that's why you see the premiums coming down. Does that uh, make sense, Tim? Yeah, it's but, one uh, big circle, um, but it really that's the problem that's facing Floridians right now. Now, those same problems probably don't play into uh, into people up north or outside of the hurricane zones. But that's the problem locally that we're that we're facing. And uh, our our current governor, he's got to figure some things out there. Um, so that's that is like one of the, that is number one that's public enemy number one for Floridians right now is their home in, insurance and where it's going and of course real estate taxes for everybody are going up they go they go up ours went up significantly again this year uh so that's no fun uh luckily though for people that can still be escrowed if they have a mortgage so we'll <clears throat> we'll know we're really in trouble when an above average baseball player comes in to start selling so when Tria Turner just got awarded a three hundred million dollar contract for ten years yesterday, I don't know how anybody can be a baseball fan anymore. I really don't. It's how is it Tria Turner getting a three hundred million dollar uh, baseball contract? Blows my mind. And how old is he, Tim? Twenty nine, and he just got paid for ten or eleven years. So till he's forty. Till he's forty, he's getting a, he's getting a, a three hundred million dollar contract. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yes. I mean, we have bought um, championship rings uh, before from uh, retired professional athletes, but oh, cool. yeah, but they are, um, you know, obviously they were never paid at the price point that the current players are. Just I, I know some people, baseball fans, some aren't. Justin Verlander just got a two-year contract with the Mets for forty-eight million. Yep. Is that right? Uh, and we just we just lost one of the greats, Gaylord Perry. If you look at Justin Verlander's stats compared to Gaylord Perry's uh, stats, you would think, holy shit, how is Justin Verlander even on a team? Even though he's probably one of the most successful current pitching players. Yes. Uh, Gaylord Perry completed through 303 complete games, guys. 303. <laughs> I bet not all the active players and the active pitchers in the Major League Baseball have thrown 303 complete games. I don't What was that not? I don't even think it was 50 for Verlander. Yeah, so I mean, it's just like, E threw 303, it's amazing. All right, but I know, let's not get on the yep. track of me getting ranting about professional athletes. Uh, one last thing, guys, here. Uh, junk 90%, serious drops in premiums here. 
Um, we got, uh, we're buying dimes and quarters now at the spot price plus a dollar per ounce. And we're selling it at the spot price plus $3 per ounce. At the end of the year, mark my words, we will either be at zero or negative premium on dimes and quarters, uh, maybe even uh, within the next 10 to 15 business days, uh, maybe even before Christmas. Uh, but we are now buying at a dollar over and selling at three over. So what do we say, 224010 uh, times that by 0.7. So that right now means that we're selling Dimes and quarters at just over 18 times the face value, guys. Wow. Yeah, that's 1964 and before silver dimes and quarters. Uh, and that will be cheaper premiums by the end of the year, guaranteed. Uh, half dollars, guys, dropped also significantly. Paying uh, spot price plus $3 an ounce on them and selling at the spot price plus $5 per ounce on them. And uh, two days ago, I sold a full bag to one of the distributors at five and a half over, and I thought I just hit the biggest home run. So, and now today we're selling across the counter at five over. Uh, I these I don't think will be negative or at zero by the end of the year, uh, but I wouldn't be surprised if they're just a dollar over by the end of the year. Uh, what do we have on halves? Ten plus five. So your cost right now, guys, on half dollars, uh, nineteen sixty four and before is going to be somewhere around nineteen point six times the face value. And guys, we got plenty in stock. So if you're interested in them, uh, please reach out to us and we'll sell them to you. Uh, how do we accept payment, Tim? Cash, wire, and Zelle. Cash, wire, and Zelle, guys. Uh, no checks, no crypto, no credit cards, no personal uh, bank drafts. Uh, literally just cash, wire, and Zelle. Tim's got that little uh, graphic at the top of the screen, right? Basically where my hand's doing this. Yep. Uh, saying cash, wire, or Zelle. That is it, guys. I'm literally asked two or three times a day, um, hey, will you take a check or will you take a credit card? No, guys, it's cash, like actual cash uh a wire transfer or a zelle payment that, that is it that's all we accept um and if there's anything we do for you from here on out uh for the rest of the year please let us know we're going to be open for business normally just like always we're just going to be laying low uh and kind of coasting with the social media until after the new year and um and we'll see you in january so but please uh you know after today these premiums are probably going to change they even may change today uh because everything's moving so fast so uh if you're interested in buying or selling please just reach out to the shop for uh current pricing all right and uh we'll see you guys in january i hope you guys have a great uh christmas and uh happy uh, holidays all right uh again i'm brian with vermilion enterprises 5324 spring hill drive in sunny spring hill florida open monday through friday 10 to 5, and uh, Saturdays 9 to 2, and hit that like and subscribe button at the corner of your screen, guys. We'll see you in January. Thank you.